hello, Sam, Josh, and anyone else who's watching to uh, Swin, Don't You Forget About Me. Now, uh, we are at that stage of the season where we have some exciting games to play. Uh, I'll show you what we've done in the meantime. Uh, what was the last game we played? We played against Les uh, Southampton. Uh, beat them 4-1, as you'll remember. Uh, then we played Leicester, beat them 2-0. Two fantastic goals from Wilmot, um, putting us through there. We then went on... We hit this run of games, which is going to be tough. Uh, Chelsea, City, Inter, Inter, Chelsea, Cardiff, Western Supermare. Um, we lost 3-1 away at Chelsea. Um, not a great result. We went 1-0 up, but then they scored two goals almost immediately afterwards. Uh, and then in pursuit of an equaliser... Uh, we conceded a third. We actually did pretty well in that game. 3-1 is a pretty harsh result on us, but uh, still, it's a defeat. Uh, we then lost to an absolute last-minute goal. Was it 90-plus-2 header from Alexander Yudin, um, putting us down again 1-0. Um, again, meaning uh, putting us down again uh, 1-0 away at Man City, which was unfortunate. We had plenty of chances to win that game. And then we went away to the uh, Giuseppe Meazza Stadium in Italy to play Inter Milan. We lost, oh sorry, we drew 1-1. Uh, equaliser from Just Jeff uh, late on gave us the points. We actually were better than them though. So that puts us in good stead for the second leg, which we have to play right now. Inter, and then we will play the League Cup final against uh, Chelsea, a team we haven't beaten in something going on five or six years at this point. So, uh, fingers crossed for that bit. But for now, we will stay out with Just Jeff, who's on some sensational form in Europe, and we'll also play with Alberto. Uh, we'll stick with the team as they were otherwise. Uh, Said, uh, Van Retti, Gillich, and Fall. Uh, I was going to play Montufar, but he got injured for a couple of days. Yeah, he's out for a week or two, um, which is unfortunate, but it is the way it's going to have to be. Uh, so, yeah, Fall and all these lot, everyone will play as they have been, except that I'm going to bring Serapio back in for Jair, because Serapio was the one of the cornerstones of our excellent team during our great run. Now, they're playing a lot more attacking in this leg, it seems. Obviously, they have to come out uh, because at the moment we're going through on away goals. Um, the They've got, what, three at the back? Did they say 3-4-3? Three, three, I think they were playing. Um, last time they played 4-4-2, four, four, I believe, or possibly with five at the back. Uh, anyway, it doesn't matter. We've got an early chance as well here at the county ground. Oh, but nobody's following in. There's got Bernardi and Bernardinho. Uh, that's fun. Uh, now, Manuel, he runs past the ball after winning it up high on the pitch. We've got the goal. Gillich has scored. Cut back from Saeed. Lovely stuff. Gillich is on some fine form for us. Uh, having scored in a number of games recently, he must be closing in. I think he might even already have 10 goals this season. That's pretty good for a midfielder of mine. Um, uh, one thing, fun thing to note is the manager of Inter Milan is, uh, or Internazionale, is Maya Zatuni, the former uh, three-season striker for um, Western Supermare, who I signed uh, and who scored a lot of goals as we uh, claimed back-to-back -back, uh, Champions Leagues. So he's a uh, experienced, experienced manager. Oh, not sure what his goalkeeper's doing there. Uh, anyway, Manuel's got the ball, giving it to Gillich. We could have, if we'd had a bit of better control, they would have had a long-range shot on because there was no one in goal. Fall has had a shot and just Jeff has scored again. We are 2-0 up. That is quite an impressive uh, bit of football for us. An early double for us, 21st minute. We're 2-0 up against Inter Milan. They are fifth in Serie A. They're doing better than we are this season. Um, we have dropped down to sixth. Uh, although we do still have closing in on three games in hand on a lot of other teams around us. So there's a potential that if we were to win every single one of our games in hand, we would be fourth. Uh, might even be third. But, uh, oh, Van Rethy smashes the ball over. We are dominant. We are really pushing the trigger or putting our foot down on their necks at this moment in time. Fall crosses the ball. Serapio gets there. No, he doesn't. But it goes to Perez, who heads the ball against the goalkeeper's legs. And now into a breaking Monforte has had an effort but it was blocked by two of our defenders before Filippini gets it they're recycling possession on the edge of our box it's not bad will they manage to work a chance they won't we have been reprieved that is still 2-0 to Swindon Town come on come on the boys in red lovely lovely stuff fall gives it to Alberto nope nothing given we get a corner We've been playing well recently. The, 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 the two losses in the league masked two very good performances. The Chelsea one less so. Uh, they were a little bit more 
dominant over us. Oh, it was nearly a third. Full puts it in. Just Jeff and then Alberto as well. But Anane manages somehow to keep the ball out. He's a lucky boy. They are living dangerously. They could have been three or four nil down already this half. Uh, in fact, they still could be. We've tackled them again halfway up the pitch and we've got another chance. Just needs to be put into the middle. It's not. But Van Rethy collects. Gillich out to Said. Said. He misses, but he was offside. Yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, we've been masking some good performances with some not great results. Uh, particularly the Man City game. We should have won that, really. Um, or at the very least drawn. We were, we were very much good good quality, um, good value for our, for a draw. But then they, they nicked it right at the death. It's very disappointing. Uh, we've already started strong. Free kick leading to a corner. Leading to Perez at the back post. But no, Laveau gets taken out by Matteo Filippini. And it looks like Inter are losing their heads a little bit here. Fall to the back post to Jeff, but he doesn't get there. Monforte gets it and clears. Filippini uh, pressurising us at the back, but no, it's okay. Fertut gives it to Laveau, and we're doing okay. The big ball up, and suddenly Alberto, one ball, and Alberto is through. Alberto again, two shots straight at Anane. He uh, didn't really get the ball out from underneath his feet and allow the defender to catch up and pressure him a little bit there. But Alberto again has a chance. Was that deflected? I think that I think he shot into the bum bum of uh, An Anaya, Anaya, Anane, Bernardo, and Bernardino. They've got some very strange names there. Just Jeff heads over again. Wow, we're looking pretty comfortable here. I don't think they've even had a shot on target. No, they haven't. Three shots in total, two blocked, one off target. Said now. We're still pressing them high. This is nice. This is what I like to see. Getting, willing the ball back here in this area, giving ourselves a chance as soon as we get the ball to transition into a, into a, into an attack. Uh, Tram, they're missing uh, quite wildly. Oh, my phone's going off. Why? Uh, hello. Hi, Henry. literally the same guy calling me from yesterday asking me if I had called him I said no I told you yesterday that I didn't call you please leave me alone oh sorry so there we go fun Alberto to Gillich now I realised we had a chance um, Said nearly got through there and he did again but he was surely offside in that one we're 70 minutes in I think we're going to try and preserve some of our better players for the final Said being the main one we're also going to bring on uh, what are we going to do? Fall is going to have to come off in some capacity. Gillich is going to go out on the right. And I think we will do... Is there anyone else we need to bring on or off? Actually, I'm going to bring Wilmot on for Gillich. I, uh, I know he's not a winger, but he can He has played there once or twice for us. Uh, we just need to make sure that uh, our better midfielders and stuff are fit for the final. Laveau, interesting bit of play from him, manages to win us a corner. Lovely stuff. And here we go. This is another corner for us. Novotny to cross this time. It's come in. Perez at the back post. And Nane just manages to keep it out. Defending on the line there. And we are really putting them under some pressure. Ten shots on target we've had this game. Very, very nice. And Alberto's been injured. Bugger. Uh, okay. Well, it looks like Padilla has his starting spot for the final wrapped up. Just Jeff. Uh, he's offside and it was deflected anyway. Never mind. What's going to go on? We've got 10 minutes left. They don't. I don't reckon they can come back at this point. Uh, two goals, obviously, for them would put them through, but I don't think they can get two in the last 10 minutes. We've looked very comfortable. They've still not had a shot on target. Am I right? I am right. They've only had four shots in total. This is a storied club in Inter Milan, and we are giving them a footballing lesson here at the county ground, home of football. <laughs> oh, ooh, hey, well, maybe I spoke too soon. Jung has scored. Um, they only need to get one now. For some reason, Laveau is complaining about offside. I don't know how that can possibly have been offside. Come on, mate. No, not even close. Not even close. He's well on, well onside. Um, so now we do have a nervous five minutes at the end. Young, don't get knocked out. We've been so good. No. 
<laughs> okay, and suddenly it's nervous. Suddenly it's nervous. Five minutes to go. We are one man down as well. I forgot about that. Uh, they are able to marshal. Uh, is it who is it up front? Uh, just Jeff on his own up front. Ooh, Wilmot gives away a foul. Oh God, eighty-eight minutes. He better not get sent off or something stupid like that. No yellow card for Wilmot. We're all hands to the all hands on deck at the back. Oh, get it out! It's gone out for what a corner. Serapio has cleared it. Apparently they're surrounding the referee because they're furious, but not a single one of them went over to him. Uh, we need to. Well, the, the ball's going to come to him. <laughs> That's nice of you, <laughs> Young, you lazy bastard. <laughs> uh, well, they've got three on the edge of the box there. We don't look like we're marking them very well. Four at the back there, unmarked. Okay, but the ball has been cleared out to just Jeff, who just needs to kick it big over here, big over here. Or oh, no, he's going to run with it. He's going to run with it. Have we got a chance on the break at the end? Just Jeff puts he puts it out for a corner. Very nicely done. A professional job. Possibly could have squared it for a uh, shot, but uh, never mind. And we've won another corner. Oh, I think maybe Jeff might have uh, wasted enough time there. That means we are probably going to go through. But oh, everything got a little bit tasty after that young goal. Manuel now proving that time to prove that he's worth a bunch of money that Arsenal wanted to pay for him. He gets the ball in. We don't score, but it has come out back to Van Rethy, who gives the ball to Laveau, who you know it's moved through to Wilmot. Twenty seconds left. I think we can hold on. I am again. I'm going to be. I'm going to go back to being confident, uh, but I think we can hold on for the next five seconds. Just Jeff puts it out for a corner. Very nice. Professional job again, that's what I'm saying. And we don't even get to take the corner. We've been, we've been, uh, we've been, we've qualified for the next round. Lovely, very nice, very nice indeed. I think, uh, who are we, who do we get drawn against in the next round? It's not someone, com comparatively speaking, it's not someone too uh, scary. Let's see here, second knockout round, we would get Galatasaray or Hitafe, um, who I don't know how good Getafe are. Not great. Oh, they're fourth in La Liga. Okay, so we, we, there's a potential for us to have a tough round next time around, but let's hope we don't. <laughs> um, Alberto is out for four to five weeks. He's not going to give him the injection. I don't want to damage him. Uh, Zatuni isn't my biggest fan, which is, uh, I think, harsh, considering I'm also one of his favourite personnel. Uh, it was a superb performance. It was great. Uh, it's a brilliant feeling, and uh, as long as we're still in the competition, we've got a chance of winning it. Um, yes, it was scary, but I'm going to say it wasn't. Uh, another game where Alberto has failed to find the net. Shouldn't just be judged on goals. Uh, Fall picked up the man of the match because he was great. He is a very good player. Doesn't score many goals. Uh, none, in fact. But he is a good player. We really need someone who can uh, turn in the same kind of performances and maybe get some goals. If he could, if, if I mean, if Fall, for example, could add six or seven goals a season, maybe even more than that, he would be a world-class player, but he's obviously not. Uh, and that's fine. That's fine. We allow that. It's no problem at all. Now then, the big one. The replay of the final from a couple of years ago. We lost that one 3-2, I think. Wilmot got two. Um, one of them right at the end, though, when they'd already got th they'd already gone 3-1 up. Uh, we don't have a great record in finals. Uh, we did win last year, but that was against a team who were worse than us. In terms of teams who are better than us, it's not great. Um, we'll have to see. The last time a team managed by me won a cup where we were the underdogs was, uh, I remember we beat Bayern when I was Hertha manager. I won the German Cup uh, when we just when we were still a league, uh, a Bundesliga 2 team. Uh, and then before that, we had won the uh, Europa League with... Shlomsk, 3-0 against Real Madrid um, but yeah as Swindon we've lost every single final we've come to especially when we play Chelsea <laughs> that's, a, that's a big obvious uh, roadblock for us we seem to play them in a lot of cup finals we've had them in the League Cup final and in the Europa League final which was a harsh lesson uh, we got comfortably beaten in both of those games I think you'll, I think that's probably fair to say the League Cup one was close but I don't think we were really in it that much um, Komunalnik, that's a great name, Komunalnik Slonim. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, anyway, they've signed a bunch of players. Uh, Topic, why are you upset? I've been playing you plenty. Of course, of course you're, pl you're already playing you, Mother Hubbard. We, our relationship is no opinion, which is cool. Uh, so we'll see who we're going to go through against. Uh, probably Galatasaray, in fact, 
who are 4-1 up already from the first leg and they are consistently coming sort of in the top three of the Turkish Premier League. We haven't got that league loaded, so it's hard to tell. Um, Trabzonspor have won it recently and Fenerbahce, which is cool. Basaspor down there, enjoying life back in the 2020s. Mid to late 2020s, that was the uh, the classic Basaspor team. I think we can all agree on that. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, Benfica have uh, probably knocked out Caen, which is fine by me. Um, did they go out? Yeah, they did. Benfica absolutely walloped them. And we, yes, we got Galatasaray. They lost 1-0 to Hatafe, but they have qualified. So that means we've drawn them. Uh, we have never lost to Galatasaray. When did we play them? Did we play them in our run to the semis? Well, we must have done. A uh, run to the final, sorry. When was that? Yeah, we beat the quarterfinals. We beat them last time. We absolutely mashed them the first time. Who scored in that one? Gillich, Wilmot, Riedel and Novotny. So we could have the same scorers, except for Riedel. We could have the same scorers. Uh, Riedel, in fact, scoring an own goal in that game. That Western Supermare game, I, we haven't played them at all. Actually, I was going to say, previously this run looked like uh, Chelsea City into into Chelsea Western Western. Um, but that Western Supermare game keeps getting, <laughs> um, keeps getting uh, rearranged because we keep having cup games. So this one was probably the original. That game was probably supposed to be played back here somewhere. <laughs> but it got changed and it just keeps getting pushed back all season long so eventually we will get to play Western Supermare and they'll probably put paid to some progress that we progress that we've been trying to build that's what they tend to do um, but yeah whatever and also I think am I right in saying so we've got Cardiff in the FA Cup which comes immediately after this game I won't record that nobody's interested but also because we're likely to win that game but uh, if we do go through against Cardiff um, that means we will have to then play Man United in the next round of the Cup. So it's a tough ask to uh, retain our FA Cup this season. Arsenal are still in the competition as well, and I think probably Bogey team Chelsea are probably still in it as well. And no guarantees, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. Western Super Mayor there, fourth highest average attendance in the Premier League, uh, above Chelsea and Tottenham and Liverpool <laughs> and Newcastle. Wow, Swindon in the top there. Swindon top in the top ten is that one two three, six seven eight nine ten yeah tenth, just slightly above Hull, slightly below West Ham. We need a new stadium. That's what we need. I've been saying it to the board every season. I think this season, if they continue to uh, pretty much max out the stadium's capacity, we might be able to persuade them to give us a new one. Okay. Let's go through all this stuff. Wembley is hit by the League Cup fever. Swindon are hopeful, yeah, you think? We've had a arguably a tougher run than them, although we did have AFC Wimbledon in the uh, <laughs> in the semis. Now, they've lost their last game. We've won our last game. They although I think that win there for them is also us. So, you know, that <laughs> uh no, I don't think chopping and changing. We face a tough challenge, uh, but I'm quietly confident. Uh obviously it's a big blow for us to lose Alberto. Last time we played very well, it gives us confidence, of course. Um, it's something that the last time that we played them we lost which is something that adds a little more incentive although at this point we've lost them so many times that we must we, you know you can't be more incentivized to beat them um, we're going to put them on the back foot for the first minute and uh, it will be a fun managerial duel between me and Amin Nazari um, and I think he's a really nice guy probably uh, they don't have Marek Grajek the Polish attacking midfielder who is lovely who they signed for five million quid? What? That's a decent buy. Uh, anyway, they're not they're not playing him because he's injured. Uh, it's a shame. And uh, they're yeah. And then this is the fella. He's got a hat trick against us in the last game. He's thirty five. He's still ridiculously good. Ninety one goals for England. Uh, Saeed Benufela. Um, yes, obviously he's a wonderful footballer. Who are we going to uh, put on to counter him? That would be Serapio, who didn't play in the uh, Wheatland, looking to outplay Chelsea. I don't think that's what I said, is it? <laughs> said I think we're going to try and beat them early um, anyway it's fine oh Man City beat Man United that's good um, probably means that Arsenal have won the league basically now but whatever can't complain and now it's the big one we're getting there I've not got a suit on but I have got a polo shirt with Swindon's logo on the arm that's how much I care I'm ready I'm ready for this game I think the team has been training well this week Man, Charlton are getting beaten up every week. <laughs> but somehow they're actually doing okay. I think they must they must sneak wins when I don't notice it. 
but they're still not in the relegation zone yet. The Relegelli zone, no, they're not. Um, Wolves have been pathetic this season. Uh, similarly, Bradford and also Leicester have been weirdly, weirdly bad. Two teams that finished in the top 10, I think, last season. Just having a bit of water. Wet with my whistle. Now then, Chelsea. Whoa. Chelsea, Chelsea, Chelsea. That bloody, that Ben Ufela guy, he's a, he's a, he's a knob head is what he is. He's really good. Come on. Okay. Chelsea versus West. Uh, Swindon. West? I was going to say West Ham. I don't know why. Um, here we go. We have played them 14 times. We have won one and drawn two. <laughs> I mean, you know, going on past records, <laughs> we haven't got much of a hope. But that doesn't mean <laughs> that we actually have not much of a hope. We're actually going to beat them. That's why I'm going to tell you right now. CMA Topic makes the bench. Um, we are going to play with Gillich Fall. Yes, we're going to play with this team. It's been playing very well. We're going to have, where is he? He's still injured, of course. He is Bram Filov. Uh, we have Shehu. We have Topic. You can come on at right wing. Got Novotny then, Jonathan, Jair, Serapia is doing well. Okay, I think, that, I mean, this is as good as it can be for Swindon, right? We can't really do any better. If Alberto was not injured, arguably he could play. Um, they're not actually starting with uh, that. Uh, they might not be playing their first team. Hang on, can we go back to see that? Oh, no, can we go back to their lineup? He can't be there. So they're playing him. He's made five appearances all in the cup. Uh, he's only conceded two, to be fair. Bjorn Meiser, he's not a first-team regular for them. Gamal, Khaled Gamal, he has played a lot this season. He's pretty good. Um, Delroy Evans, the 35-year-old, I mean, he's not great either. Wow, we... Okay, Grant, 35. What the hell? This team is incredibly old. Eunice Meyer, also 30. He's basically a right-back, not really a right midfielder, but he is one of their starting players, and he's played excellently. Uh, Ixel Matondo, he's useless. Um, so, uh, here we've got there. Loic Delorme, he's awesome but old. Um, then there's got this this guy, Nedko Yanjov, who we know is great. So, he's obviously going to be someone to look out for. Uh, Santiago Spinoza, who's also excellent. And uh, who they got up front? Who's this fella? Hansen. Johnny Hansen, 30 years old. He's only made three. He's not. He's made 10 league appearances off the bench. So they have not played their first team, not by a long shot, and we have played our first team. So this could be a real opportunity at this point. Uh, who do they have on the bench? They do have Ben Fuella on the bench when he comes on. Hard tackling. Um, <laughs> uh, but we really want to get in on those. Uh, look, bugger it. Let's just look. John knows what he's doing. We're going to say, go out there and impress me. Calmly say, I have faith. Let's do them for last time. That should be an option. I mean, if we've lost to them in, in, in a cup final recently, we should be able to say that as my uh, team talk, I would have thought. Excuse me a second. Okay, we'll carry on. Hanson to Espinosa. Espinosa hits the ball over. Excuse me a second. And sorry, I'm back. I just had to close the window. Right, so here we go. Goldbeck, who's injured after four minutes, seems strange. What on earth could he possibly have done in those few, few minutes? Anyway, we are making a break. Padilla, Padilla has scored 1-0 straight away. We are right in there. I mean, their combined age of about 250 isn't helping them, but it's certainly helping us. We are 1-0 up in the final already. This is much better than recent games. Although we did go 1-0 up against them within about two minutes last time we played them. We ended up losing 3-1. So there's no guarantee that this is a good sign yet. But Perez heads across goal. <sighs> you, you've got to think that basically just trying to make him move will will, will result in a decent chance. <laughs> um, 
Grant over there, they don't have very much pace in their team either, and we have some pace. If we can get around the back of them, they play the ball around nicely. Espinosa's good, we know that. But uh, Maya, whoa, get it out. Yenchov as well is another one that's good. Delorme, was, he, was, he was good. He was good during his heyday, but he's 33 now, we said, I think. Anyway, Matondo crosses. They've had a chance, but Manuel clears out to Grant. Delorme, Fall tackles Grant, and now we have a chance to break. Let's go. Fall, use some of that pace of yours. Just Jeff. Just Jeff playing around with the ball a bit there. Saeed comfortably. Yep, that's nice. Van Rethy, they're good on the ball, these boys. Padir just has to slot the ball through, surely. No? Okay, Fall. Gives it to Just Jeff. Just Jeff tries to push on, doesn't quite get there. Laveau picks up on the wayward pass there. And he gives it to Fall. Fall surely crosses to just Jeff Gillich. Oh, we should have been capitalising on that kind of finish, uh, that kind of effort, uh, that kind of chance. Thank you, words. Padilla, Saeed. Saeed gives it to Gillich, surely offside. No, Fall, effort, great save from Goldbeck. Hit right at him, but still he had to make the save. Hansen now trying to break, but he's got no pace because he's old like all of their team. Goldbeck comes out, his Zimmer frame whistling in the breeze. Grant to Evans. Grant to Yenchov. This is a very different team to their normal side, I can tell you that. Some of these English-sounding names I definitely did not notice in the last game. Uh, Hansen. They're playing around nicely, though. They do, they do, they're, not, they're not making many runs. They do spend quite a lot of time just sort of passing between stationary players, but that's fine. Saeed goes out to him, doesn't quite get there, but it's okay. Um, Maya, keep going. Matondo is the bad guy from... Congo, right? I think that was his name, uh, Matondo. Anyway, they have a chance. They blaze it over the bar. They've got a long throw here. Strange that Chelsea would be resorting to such tactics against Swindon, the mighty town. But, you know, oh, that's a bad pass. And now they're through. Yanchov, he's good. Yanchov tries to put it in again. He got two bites of the cherry. Didn't get there. One good save, one good clearance. But they have the ball still. Grant out on the left. Crosses in Serapio. Laveau, Padilla. Padilla now has the opportunity to bring the ball out from the back. Let's go. He's going down the left. Can he... Okay, the ball's gone out for a throw for us. I was hoping he might kick the ball down the line or something, you know, try and expose some of our pace, expose them to our pace. Yanchev has scored in the final, his 10th goal of the season. It's a good effort for two. Probably should have saved it. Went straight at him and he did get a hand to it. Disappointing. Um... But we know that they're there to be got at. They are not that impressive. Okay, now here we go. Immediate chance to respond. Let next five minutes. Serapio to Van Rethy. Ball goes through to Padir. Doesn't quite get there. But Saeed does get there. And was that a shot? I think it might have been a through ball rather than a shot. But anyway, Goldbeck clears. And uh, now the ball has moved up to our end of the pitch. We are moving forward again. Laveau to fall. Fall sort of standing about there. Not really impressed with that as a tactic. But Just Jeff now actually doing what we think might be a good tactic. Saeed at the back post. Just Jeff to Saeed. He's scored. Could that be a final farewell gift from Saeed to Swindon Town? A second cup win in two seasons is back on the card. Jeff gets around the back. As we knew that they we could do, they can be got at around those areas. And Saeed at the back post tucks it away nicely. They haven't made any changes. They haven't made any changes of formation or personnel yet. Uh, you'd think they might have to make a change. I don't know how injured the goalkeeper is or or, or how long they want to keep these old-timers playing because they do have some good young players on the pit, on the bench, I believe. Padilla goes for an effort, but Goldbike saves nicely. Okay, Grant now to Yanchov. Yanchov, their youngest player, I think, at 25. is not that young. Um, but Delorme in midfield gets tackled. He's slow. We know he's slow. He's got no pace. Technically skilled, but got no pace. Matondo, he's younger, but not much better. <laughs> Laveau, okay, it's gone back to Fertut and it's gone up to Padilla. Can we make a? Can we make something of it? No. Grant keeps the ball away from fall. Da 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 da. da. And yeah, are we going in at half time with a two one lead? That would be very nice. But we could have extra. Padilla gives it to Gillich. Gillich, we know what he can do, but no, straight into the arms of Goldbeck. You'd think, considering he's old, just try for a shot, lads. Uh, playing, playing with confidence, and they damn well should be. Um, let's say I'm happy with your performance. Keep it up. I don't think that these guys need to be told not to get complacent. They're playing Chelsea. We're not playing great at the back. Fall is particularly not playing well. We'll give him another 10 minutes and see if we might bring on Topic because he's a little bit more direct with his running. Um, they do have a th throw in. 
but Gilich is oh good good defending there from Russia. Looked like it was probably just kicked straight in his face. Um, Grant now. Delorme, they've got us pegged back after the first seven minutes. We haven't had our customary chance. Oh, Yanchov. Oh, my goodness me. We were lucky there. It was a crossbar hit and then a weird ball from Yanchov. Didn't look like he shot, looked like he crossed when he probably should have just had a go himself. Espinosa tries to get it across, but Eunice Meyer was offside. Now, Fall is not playing well. Let's bring on Topic there to bolster that right-hand side. Everywhere else we're looking okay. Perez possibly needs to be... Uh, replaced. We might need to go with someone else in midfield um, ahead of Gillich, uh, but we'll see. Fall is coming off for Topic now. They're making a replacement. Ben Fuel is coming on now. He is our. He's a bit like that player that plays for um, Leicester City in that he always scores against us. So we probably need to score again here. Otherwise, we we know what's going to happen. Topic though, using his pace, gets in behind, shoots, and Goldbeck saves. Topic's corners are also a high point. We bring them in tries but nobody was there goes out to Gillich strange decision really to try and cross the corner to a tiny tiny man but it's okay now let's think about where we are 20 minutes left what do we want to do do we want to keep trying to go forward do we want to replace Gillich in midfield with possibly Martins for example we could also oh we don't have that was a silly move we don't have um Brand Filov on the bench that was not a great idea um Perez is not playing well though at the back mm. Let's continue on as we are for a bit. Uh, I don't think we need to rock the boat too much. We're doing well. Goldbeck, big ball up. Perez wins the ball in the air. That's nice. Ben Fuela, Perez goes through him. That's what I like to see. He, did he get booked? Of course he did. Ball comes up. Perez at the back post heads over. Now, Perez is not doing... He's even actually doing worse than he was before. So we're going to bring Jair on. And ahead of him, we are going to bring on... Do we go? Do we leave Gillich where he is and bring Saeed off? Saeed's more of a threat than Novotny. He's, yeah, let, we can't really go with him. We're going to have to bring on Martins here. Actually, Martins instead of Jair. Let's do that instead. Let's see how we look again in ten, five or ten minutes. Chiodze Martins coming off of Perez, who's not had a great game, but you know. Oh, Martin's immediately beaten in the air. Brilliant. Uh, Laveau, straight back to Fatout. We don't have to be crazy at this point. We can just pass the ball around. We can just keep going. Um, we do need to make the ball go a bit further forward, though. Uh, Padilla now. They've found a bit of space in between that back, those four back, two banks of four. Just Jeff is around the back again. Padilla at the back, in the middle. He's scored. I don't know what words I'm saying. That's a great finish. And we are now 3-1 up with 15 minutes to go. Now, you've got to say at this point, we must be favourites to go through. Okay, we're going to bring... Are we... I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to carry on. Great ball. Exactly the same as last time. Jeff gets behind Rocha into the middle. Padilla this time is the one to finish it off. That's what we like to see. Swindon Town 3, Chelsea 1. This is a first win against Chelsea if we can hold on for... What was that? Five years, I think. Okay, we are now going to bring Novotny on for Gillich. He's looking too tired. Um... Gillich is not going to be able to continue, I imagine. So let's just take him off. Waste a bit more of that precious, precious time. Benfuela, Manuel is great. Padilla, what's he going to do with it? Gets tackled. But Van Rethi continues to absolutely break things up in the middle of the pitch, and I love it. Saeed, he's absolutely knackered, can't run, but he is going to pass the ball straight back. Gillich, before he's still, he's still on the pitch. What's he doing? Uh, Jeff is tackled by Grant, but Grant fouls. Is he going to get a booking for that? Yellow card. We still haven't made our substitution. That's fine. Saeed is going to have a free kick. It's gone over the bar. It's a shame. But it's more time wasted with the ball put out of play. Now we're making our substitution. Gillich comes off. Novotny comes on. Van Rethi there. Novotny. Van Rethi, is he going to keep going with against Benfuela? Yes. Benfuela. Van Rethi, great tackle. And we set up maybe an attack. Yes, just Jeff comes on to top his ball. He's back through there again. Padilla at the back post is in. That's a Goldbeck own goal, and we are 4-1 up, and Swindon Town have won the League Cup. Come on! <laughs> oh, Just Jeff has had an absolutely sensational game. Good ball from Topic to set him up. They are not able to deal with these balls in up from behind. They've actually gone a lot further forward. That's where we got that space from, because that's where we were attacking through. Um, but, uh, yeah, they look like they must be beaten at this point. Three goals in the last minute or two probably can't happen. Balic... Gives it in. Ben Fuela gets his or Benufela gets his uh, traditional chance. Doesn't score it for once though. 
Probably should have started with him. He's much better than uh, the fools that were playing for them before. Said to Van Rethi to Manuel. Manuel gives it to Said again. Said, he's got no pace. He can't go past his man, but it doesn't matter because Swindon Town have won the League Cup. Come on. <laughs> yes. He had a storming game. Padilla scored two, assisted one. Just Jeff, three assists. Did deserve a goal, but who cares? He made three. Adel Said with our other goal. Lovely, lovely. So who scored? Oh, of course, own goal. Right, yeah. Very, very well done. That was really special, lads. No one gave us a hope, and yet here we are, Swindon Town, the winners of the 2051 League Cup. <laughs> uh, and Hull beat Liverpool through two. That's fun. That's why I said West Ham before. Okay. Swindon Town four, Chelsea one. Past winners. This is our second time in the final in the last five years. Uh, we lost to Chelsea in the last time. We won it there. And if you go all the way back... All the way back, Swindon Town winners against Arsenal. So we have finally got our second League Cup win. Only, what, sort of 91, 92, uh, 82 years later. Um, Jerry Nash has resigned as manager of Newcastle to go and take over at West Ham. It's a sad, sad thing. Charlton, uh, oh, okay, sorry, not the right same one. Charlton have been given £111,000 for winning against Chelsea. Iconic Wheatland beats Sw- Bill Swindon legacy has uh, firmly cemented his status as an iconic figure after clinching the League Cup. Fourth trophy at the club, which has spanned nine years, although I think two of those trophies are the League One title and the uh, um, <laughs> and the Johnson's Paint trophy, but yeah, it counts. A legacy which will live long in the memory, but uh, which one may also may not yet be complete. The 59-year-old is being spoken of with the same breath as Swindon icons Sean Taylor and Simon Cox. Yeah, <laughs> because a manager who's taken the team to the Premier League into the European competitions and has won two major trophies, basically demanding that he's the best manager at the club ever, um, at least based on uh, results. Yeah, he's probably as good as Simon Cox, who played for the club for three seasons. Anyway, fans praise manager Wheatland. That's great, of course, for the first time since 1969. It's a long, old time. Swindon boss pleases board in League Cup win. Uh, They always expected the team to win the competition. Lied to the board. (laughs) Um, But yeah, Cox praises Wheatland's spirit. That's nice of him. Uh, We won the League Cup. Chelsea lost it. That's almost more fun. Um, we lift the English League Cup trophy. Padilla scored immediately. Nedko Yankov equalised, but Adil Said scored. Padilla then scored, and then uh, what's his name? Goldbeck, who what at the age of thirty eight has scored an own goal in a in a cup final. You probably wouldn't be expecting to do that, but yeah, unlucky fella. Ah oh dear. Well, we've won the cup. I was not expecting that at all. Classy Padilla on form for Swindon. Nearly got twenty goals this season. Ah. Oh. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. It's a shame that Saeed has left, really. Um, but what a parting gift. A goal in the final. Fans jubilant after Chelsea results. Swindon have qualified for the Europa League. Uh, we'll probably do that anyway, I would hope. But yes, well done. And uh, we've paid out all the money and more that we won for winning the League Cup to the squad. So, ah, oh, yeah. Come on. Yeah. Ben Wheatland is now in, an icon, is in the icon list. Lovely stuff. Jürgen Becken is close to joining us. I didn't realise Lloyd Wilmot, I think I mentioned it the other day, but Wilmot is also on this list. I'm be- I'm below Paul Bowden and D- Fraser Digby, but ahead of Nicky Summerby. So cool. Um, hopefully one day we can get up to being a bigger legend than Lou Macari. Um, although I don't know why he's higher than John Trollope or Don Rogers or Harold Fleming. Seems weird. Anyway, um, also why is Wilson not on there? The manager who won the League Cup last time, he, he didn't even make the favoured personnel list, so that tells you what all you need to know really about Swindon. Weird place. Um, well, guys, that was quite the episode. A 2-1 win over storied European side Inter Milan. And then a 4-1 win in the League Cup final against Chelsea. Yes, please. Yes, please. Now, I'll play this game on my own. Um for the fun and then I will play this game and then I will play this game and then we will be back for Southampton and Galatasaray and we will see how we get on in our Europa League games I don't like doing I don't like the idea of really doing that I would prefer to do both the Galatasaray games uh, but in the interest of not spending all of my day recording videos I'll just play through these ones quickly and then I'll play Southampton and Galatasaray on the camera we'll see how we get on oh okay so see you later then guys ciao